गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन दिस इज क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर टू पोलिनोमियल्स होमवर्क सोल्यूशन ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर वन चिल्ड्रन इन लेक्चर नंबर वन आई मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू फाइंड द जीरोज ऑफ अ क्वाडिटिक पोलिनोमियल एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द जीरोज एज वेल एज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ द पोलिनोमियल सो लेट एस टेक फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन सो दैट देर विल बी better clarity of the concept in your mind in my opinion you may feel difficulty while solving question number 1 fifth part so i am going to just give you the solution of the same this is polynomial in t that is t square minus 15 here you can see that this is a quadratic polynomial because the variable which is present in it that is t its highest power is 2 right so how to find the zeros of the polynomial what i am going to do i am just going to put this polynomial in t equal to 0 as you put t square minus 15 equal to 0 here what can you do you don't have the middle term so factorization method cannot be adopted see in place of this 15 i am going to write root 15 whole square because root 15 into root 15 will become 15 only now i am going to apply identity a square minus b square that is a plus b Into a minus b, because I am going to calculate the zero, so I am going to put both the expressions equal to zero. T plus root fifteen is equal to zero, and t minus root fifteen is also equal to zero. From here, I have got t is equal to minus root fifteen, and here I have got t is equal to root fifteen. Now let us check whether these zeros have any relation with the coefficients of the polynomial or not. Relationship between the zeros and its coefficients. For that, children, what you have to do, you have to compare the given polynomial that is t square minus fifteen with its generalized form. So, comparing p t by the generalized quadratic polynomial that is a t square plus b t plus c, right? While comparing, what can we judge? Here, a is the numerical coefficient of t square. So, children, here, what is the numerical coefficient of t square? That is one. Here we don't have any term with the t, so definitely b will become zero and c will be fifteen. So a is equal to one, b is equal to zero, and c is equal to minus fifteen. Now, what I am going to do? Let the first zero, the zeros which you have just calculated. See, you calculated t is equal to minus root fifteen and t is equal to plus root fifteen. So let the first zero be alpha and another zero be beta. This here I have written. Look, alpha is equal to minus root fifteen and beta is equal to plus root fifteen. Now we are going to calculate some of the zeros. Some of the zeros means root minus root fifteen plus root fifteen will become zero. Zero can be written as zero upon one. You know very well that zero is neither negative nor positive. So in place of zero, I can write minus b. Why? Because the value of b was zero, and here upon a because the value of a was one. Now let us calculate alpha into beta. Minus root fifteen into root fifteen is equal to minus fifteen by one. What was minus fifteen? That was c. So this has become c upon a. So through this question, I have again made you understand that there is really the relation between the zeros as well as its coefficients. now in my opinion you may face problem in question number 2 a part children this is a part fine so what was there in this question you will be having sum of the zeros given as well as product of the zeros given you have to just form a required quadratic polynomial so sum of the zeros is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 4 given product of the zeros is equal to alpha into beta that is minus 1 given required polynomial That is x square minus s x plus p will be multiplied by any of the constant that is k. Correct? K you will keep on writing as it is because later on after solving this expression, we will come to know what value can suit to k. Right? So x square minus in place of s I have written sum of the zeros that is alpha plus beta. Here x as it is plus in place of product I have written alpha into beta. Sum of the zero I had one by four. Here I have inserted this value. Product of the zeros I had minus one inserted this value. Now I have taken four as LCM. So what I have got four x square 
माइनस एक्स माइनस फोर अपॉन फोर सो चिल्ड्रन कैन यू एज्यूम एनी वैल्यू ऑफ फोर विच विल सूट दिस कंप्लीट एक्सप्रेशन सो दैट आई कैन गेट द क्वाडिटिक पोलिनोमियल इन दिस फॉर्म दैट इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एस एक्स प्लस बी करेक्ट इफ इन प्लेस ऑफ के आई एम गोइंग टू पुट वैल्यू फोर सो हेयर के कैन बी फोर सो दस द रिक्वायर्ड क्वाडिटिक पोलिनोमियल विल बी फोर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स माइनस फोर अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रन थैंक यू